few weapons to sell, but they, she has no more gold. Unless, of course, there are some items we could get from her that we could use. Silver ore? Hmm. Or a column? Hmm. Other strips? Okay. I suppose in exchange we could sell some of the less valuable weapons we found. Very good. Fight well. I'll try. Let's see, where is your skinning rack? Telling me you don't have one here? Oh, that figures. Not important. Hey, you. Marble knows many poisons and cures if you need them. Actually, now that you mention that. Orc poisons are to be feared if you wish to trade. So you're interested in my potions and ingredients. Yeah, you could say that. Well, you've got a bee. I'll take it. Anything else interesting? Orc feathers. Type of fish. Tundra cotton. And wheat. Wine and sweet roll, huh? We'll take it. I'll take it, rather. Um, hmm. Oh, potion of invisibility. Oh, it's expensive. I don't want to be ripped off. Potion of healing. Hmm. Any potions we have that we really don't need? No, I don't need this potion of extreme magic, huh? Or this. Alright, that's enough then. Fight well. Well, first, I have an old cure for rock joint, common in little orc children. Well, tell me about your people. We have lived in Skyrim since before the Nords came. Our way is simple. All work to make the tribe strong. Only the bravest are allowed to lead and to marry. A great chief is able to attract many wives and raise bold children. Wise women like myself are mothers of chieftains. We guide the tribe and advise our kin on what is most pleasing to Malakath. Can you tell us more of Malakath? He is our creator and master, the Daedric Lord of the Sworn Oath and the Bloody Curse. Malakath teaches us to honor all words with action, to demand blood from your enemies and strength from your allies. He watches over all orcs as his children, a truth those who leave the stronghold are quick to forget. Hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, you seem to be enjoying yourself. I used to wander the corners of Skyrim like you. I miss those days. Well, what do you do for the stronghold then? Me? I'm Borguk's brother. I came back after serving many years in the Legion. By then, Borguk had already become chief, and he welcomed me home as family, not as rival as his tradition. Hmm. So you served in the Legion, then? I did. I was known as Gorbis Gordushnik in those days, in honor of my homeland. Many orcs leave the stronghold to join the Legion. They welcome our skill in battle and smithing, and we welcome a chance to see the world. Do you miss traveling? I do. There's a freedom the roads give you that the stronghold does not, but I have a place here. And I wouldn't want to dishonor my clan by leaving again like some young pup. Hmm. Why don't you travel with me? I couldn't. It would dishonor the place the chief has made for me. You know, you just told me you missed adventure. You're right. Look at me. Talking in circles like some old wise woman. Very well, Outlander. 
You have my axe when you need it. Hmm. Follow me. I'll need your help. Lead then. You have my steel. Very well then, Gorbash. This way. Alright, unfortunately I don't have a horse for you as well. But it isn't a very long journey. So, we just need to head... Hmm... Just a bit ways north. It's not far. I'll try to go slow. Oh, you're keeping pretty well a pace. Good. I don't suppose you've ever heard of an organization called the Blades, have you? Well, I am going to extend you an offer to help serve a very old, very small, but very uh, worthwhile organization. We deal with some pretty menacing enemies and get to do lots of exciting things. And we're a fairly uh, loose neutral organization, so if you ever felt like going back to the stronghold and spending time with your tribe, you could certainly do that, and I don't think anyone would protest. I know I wouldn't. Freedom is what it's all about. It's the only thing. Freedom to live as you want, to go where you want, and to make your own decisions. There's no right more fundamental. Hmm. Must be another wandering bard. Hopefully none of the Forsworn came back here. Hmm, good. They didn't. Alright, Allie, you're gonna wait here. Gorbosh, right this way. It might seem a bit foreboding, but trust me, this is just the way to get there. Come on, move quickly. We already took care of all the traps and other dangers. We can actually stake these magical weapons that we left behind with us. I'll do that. And the iron arrows, why not? Come on! Actually, come to think of it... My blood's calm. I prefer it boiling. I need to trade some things with you. Fine. Let's trade, then. Hmm, yes, well, that's all yours, of course. But I should give you some things that I found, which I think you would find useful. Particularly, these iron arrows, the steel battle axe of cowardice, and I think I'll keep this war hammer and bow. Hmm, but then again, I'm keeping the war hammer. 
You can have the bow. There you go. Lead us to our next task. Yeah, that axe definitely suits you. Right this way. Not this way. All right, Delphine, where are you? Hmm. Certainly made this place comfy enough. Wow, look at that shield. That is rather ornate. How does it compare to what we have? 58. Though we've improved it greatly. Hmm. Oh, I'll take the gold. Huh. Very interesting. Do I want to wear their armor, though? And how does it compare to my orcish armor? I don't think it's quite as good. But if I improved it, would it be? I don't know. Mace etiquette? Ah, uh, we've read this one before. Dragonbane. Magical katana. Hmm. I have a feeling this is not our equipment to be taking. Alright, well now we just have to find where she ran off to. Well, they certainly have made this place cozier since I last I've been here. I don't remember seeing anyone in the main hall. Quite a sight, that wall. Hmm. Maybe up this way. Right over here. There you two are. I used to dream of it. In the dream I was standing someplace high up. A tower or a mountain. It was always just before dawn. And the whole world was in darkness. Then came the flash of light just on the horizon. Within the clouds that mark the border between worlds. It could have been lightning but there was no thunder. In the dream, the sense of foreboding grew, but I could never wake up. Then it came again, this time more distinct, closer. Definitely not lightning. Now it was orange, brilliant orange, the color of hearth and dawn, and a sound too, distinct and indistinct. Not thunder, something else, something... Uh, should recognize, but in the dream I cannot place it. I want to leave my high place to seek shelter. From what uh, I don't yet know. In the manner of dreams I cannot escape. I'm forced to wait and watch. Then, finally, realization and horror arrive together. The orange is flame, heat. The sound, the roar, a challenge. Too late for escape. The dragon is upon me. Fire, darkness descending like a thunderbolt. And not just any dragon, but the dragon, Aldrin, the world eater, the dragon who devours both the living and the dead. And then I would wake up and hope that it was just a dream, but know that it was not. Were the Greybeards any help? Do they know anything about the shout used against Alduin? No, but I know how to find out. I need an Elder Scroll. An Elder Scroll? That's not going to be easy to come by. Esbern's your man for that kind of thing. He may be able to at least point you in the right direction. Hmm. 
You know, I actually have a couple of questions. What exactly do you have against the Greybeards? If they had their way, you do nothing but sit up on their mountain with them and talk to the sky or whatever it is they do. The Greybeards are so afraid of power that they won't use it. Think about it. Have they tried to stop the Civil War or done anything about Alduin? No. And they're afraid of you, of your power. Trust me, there is no need to be afraid. Think of Tiber Septim. Do you think he'd have founded the Empire if he'd listened to the Greybeards? Hmm. So what's so important about me being Dragonborn? The Blades have always guarded and guided the Dragonborn, but we'd forgotten why. Now our purpose is clear. I'm all that's left of the Blades, and you're the Dragonborn. Together, we're going to stop these dragons if we have to put every last one of them back in the ground. Hmm. Well, I don't think we're going to be the only Blades anymore. I brought someone to induct. Are you sure? I'll need to ask them to take an oath to leave their old life behind and stay here from now on. I'm sure. The Blades need new members. Very well. He seems like a fighter to me. I'll give him the oath. If you find any more candidates, bring them here. You there. The Dragonborn wishes to give you the chance to join the Lost Guardians of Tamar, the Dragon Slayers, the Blades. Do you wish to become a Blade? I do. Are you willing to trade away all claims and titles of your former life? To live here and devote yourself to protecting Tamriel from danger? I do. Then by my right as Acting Grandmaster, I name you a Blade with all the privileges, rights, and burdens that brings. Godspeed. Hmm, very good. Gorbash to me seems like an honorable man, even if I don't know him very well. I'm sure he'll do well here. See, he's already practicing with that nice new axe I gave him. So, Esbern. Did you say something? Uh, before I ask you about something more specific, what's so important about me being Dragonborn? Haven't you been paying attention to anything I've said? Only you can finally defeat Aldrin and avert the end of the world. If we can just find out what this dragon wren shout is, you may have a chance. Mm -hmm. Or not. There's no guarantee with prophecy. Merely hope. Hmm. So any idea where to find the Elder Scroll? Do you know the College of Winterhold? They have a deep interest in such arcana. Well, I guess that's where we need to go then, because uh, Arngir said the same thing. Yeah, I don't suppose I could receive that dragon slaying blessing again. May the scales of the dragon kind splinter at the touch of your arrows and crack under the weight of your sword. That's all there is to it, Dragonborn. Good luck. Thank you. Very good. So, you enjoying your membership so far? By my honor, I pledge to rid Tamriel of dragons. Very nice. So, uh, what are you doing around here? Me? I'm Borguk's brother. By then, Borguk had already become chief, oh. and he welcomed me home as family, not as rival as his tradition. Hmm. Looks like Delphine's getting some sword practice in. Delphine? What is it? Oh, nothing, I suppose. I don't want to bother your training. Or even get some archery practice in. You might want to stand a little bit farther back. <sighs> well, now that we've done that... What else? Oh, apparently she wants even more followers. I'm gonna have to go out and collect quite a few, aren't I? Hmm. Oh well. This we can definitely do. Just might take a little while. Just might take a little while indeed. Now as for that blade armor, 
Hmm. I wonder if I improved it. Whether that would be advantageous. I am a little curious about this sword, Dragonbane. Very powerful sword. Extra damage to dragons. Shock damage to others. And appears to be shaped in the Asian style. Hmm. It's not ours to take. Whoa! And it's not ours to throw on the ground either. I try to be a little bit more careful with it this time. Uh huh. All right. Oh. Nope. Okay. No, that's not how you put it back. All right. Let's try this again. I'm sure we can figure out how to drop it. We just have to be a little more careful. There you go. Whatever. It's fine. Ah. Well, let's check out this blade's armor. Hmm. How is it in terms of weight? It seems like it weighs a bit more, actually, than uh, our orcish armor. Let's see how it looks. Very, uh, different. Hmm. I feel vaguely Asiatic. Wait, what am I talking about? Uh, either way, though. I don't think we need to go about openly advertising the fact that we're a blade. And I think I just like my orcish armor more. I mean, I made it after all. So it's more special. Maybe I should just give that blade armor to uh, Gorbash, but... Eh, there's nothing saying we need to do that. Besides, you could always just don it later if he really wants it so much. Well, other than bringing her more followers so that uh, the blades can be a bit stronger, I think the uh, sensible thing to do now would just be to head back to Markarth. See if we can get our name cleared. Probably won't be a pleasant process. Considering we're essentially going to be volunteered to be volunteering ourselves to be thrown in jail, but uh and obviously they're going to take our equipment. But hmm. Why not? I'm sick of the bounty hunters chasing us, and of all the other difficulties we've had to face. I do like that city, and I would certainly like to be able to go back there. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Well, Ollie, we've handled that well enough. In terms of our equipment, let's see. Let's make sure Volandrung is at the ready. And now we return to Markarth. I wonder what would be the best way. Probably just heading due west. And I think that is what we should do. And again, there doesn't seem to be... Oh, it's alright. The river is not very deep. And we could always just skip from shoreline to shoreline. Let's go crab-whacking. Ah, oh, missed. 